the blessing he's coming to bring. It's good news. It's like I'm going to the airport to meet somebody that I love and I haven't seen in a long time and I'm looking forward to seeing them and I'm there with gifts and flowers and a big sign because I want to welcome them and say, hey, so good to see you. That's what we're talking about. We're watching for Jesus that way. We're watching for him to come because we love him and he's coming to bless us. So keeping watch is making of our lives the gift, the flowers, the sign by which we're welcoming Jesus. We're saying, welcome Jesus. We're glad you're here. That's what it is. We're watching for someone we're looking forward to seeing. We're watching because we wanted our lives to be a welcome gift. So we live the kind of lives that would give joy to our Savior and be a fit gift of welcome. So we worship Him. We worship Him in our lives, not out of a sense of obligation, but because He is worthy for what He has done and for what He has given us. He's worthy of worship being the anchor of our schedule and not an afterthought. So we live that way. Hearing his word because it's his word that blesses us, redeems us, and shapes our thoughts and words and deeds and priorities and values. So we hear his word. We let him feed us at his table as he prepares us for for the end. We witness to others because judgment day is coming for them too. And apart from God's grace, they will be judged on their works. Every thought, word, and deed before the absolute holiness, righteousness of God. We want them to have the grace that he's given to us. We keep watch by seeking to live a Christ-shaped life As we have received grace, we live grace to others. As we have received mercy, we show mercy to others. As he has been generous to us, so we are generous to others and to his cause. So I'm living my life as a picture of the new creation that he's coming to bring. What do I mean by that? In the new creation that Christ is bringing, that we're watching for, there will be no poverty. So I live out of that value and I seek to care for the poor. In the new creation that he's coming to bring, there will be peace and reconciliation between all people. So I live out of that value and I seek to bring peace in all my relationships. In the new creation that's coming, there will be people gathered around the throne from every tribe, language, nation, race, all. And so I live out of that value and I seek to value all people regardless of race, ethnicity, nationality, anything at all. Because Christ values them all. In the new creation, creation itself will be perfectly restored. So I live out of that and I take care of God's creation now. I seek to make all my life and all that I do a joyful welcome for my Savior by living out of the new creation he's coming to bring. This is what it means to keep watch. Not in fear. For the Christian, these words do not strike fear. Apocalypse, end of the world, judgment day, no. Joyful expectation for our coming king who has already acquitted us. And so we pray like the the last prayer in the Bible, second to last verse in the Bible, Revelation 22, 20 says this. He who testifies to these things says, yes, I am coming soon. And his church responds, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. That's our prayer. 
So may the Lord bless us all by his grace that we be kept faithful as we keep watch. Amen. We pray. Lord Jesus, you call us to live each day watchful, waiting, alert. Be at work, Lord, in us. Send us your spirit to enable us to be faithful in our thoughts and words and deeds or what we do or what we avoid doing. So in all things, Lord, we make of our lives an offering of praise to you. In Jesus' name, amen.